All right, let's dig deeper. My next guest calls the Pentagon shooting suspect the latest example of a suicidal warrior in an anti-government movement that's spreading since President Obama took office. John Avalon is the author of Wing Nuts, How the Lunatic Fringe is Hijacking America. He's also a senior political writer for The Daily Beast. It's interesting, John, because there has been effort to paint this guy as a right-wing fanatic, um, but you say this is less about left-right left politics, more about conspiracy theories gone awry. Th that's exactly right. If you look at what this guy's been posting about on his website, he's not screaming about President Obama per se. He is angry at the government. He's talking about 9-11 conspiracy theories. He's talking about Dick Cheney more than he is President Obama. He's talking about even the JFK con uh, uh, conspiracy theories around that assassination. So what you've got here is cl clearly a guy who's very mentally disturbed, but who's been drinking really deeply of what I call fright-wing politics. It's way beyond left and right. It's really that murky ground of conspiracy theories that's been proliferating on the inter Internet and in inciting some people to take it a step too far towards violence. I, I do think the reaction to this, though, says a lot about politics today and, and the state of our country and the partisan nature of it. I mean, when you Google this guy, you find people out there today claiming that he's everything from a Tea Party libertarian to a, to a Democrat to a, to a right-wing Republican. Yeah. You know, make him a political football before the body's cold. It is a symptom of the ugliness in our politics. It's also a symptom of a larger trend. Remember, last year in April, you know, the death count, the, the death count began. We had three Pittsburgh police officers murdered by a conspiracy theorist. We had two Florida sheriff's deputies. The Southern Poverty Law Center came out with a report just this week saying that there had been a threefold increase in the number of militia groups just in the first year of the Obama administration alone. So this is a growing trend, this hatred movement of people who believe it's patriotic to hate the government. Um, it's troubling, and we should really all connect the dots. This guy may be an outlier in some instances, but it's sign of a growing trend that should be a real wake-up call to all Americans. It, it, isn't it possible, though, that, that he's just incredibly mentally unstable? I mean, there are people who are schizophrenic out there, I and mean, we know he's mentally unstable. We know his family has been, you know, getting him, trying to get him help for years. They've been wrestling with this. Um, you know, there have always been crazy people who gravitate, if they have schizophrenia, who gravitate toward conspiracy theories. It doesn't necessarily... I mean, does it necessarily tie into what is going on in the country at large? Well, what we know about the writings he's made online is that it does fit some of the types, some of the tropes that we've seen throughout the first year of Obama in particular. A lot of the conspiracy theories. Of course, 9-11 conspiracy theory goes back to the Bush era. But this, this anti-government fervor, which has really been stoked on the Internet with particular intensity in the last year, he does follow. But it's a mistake to try to shoehorn him into any one ideology or to make him fit any existing narrative, especially a partisan political narrative. What's very clear is that this is a very disturbed individual who's drunk very deeply out a lot of the hate and paranoia that's being sold on the internet by a lot of these conspiracy entrepreneurs. And that's what happens when you use hate as a cheap and easy recruiting tool, but it can lead to violence, especially when the folks who are drinking it are kind of unstable to begin with. Well, my, no, my heart goes out not only to the families of the officers involved who were who were, who were killed, but also the, I mean who were who were hit, yes. uh, but and wounded, but uh, but the family of, of this guy who's been trying to deal with his mental illness for a long time. John, I appreciate it. Thanks, John. That's right. Thank you.